Hello, welcome to Porting and Polishing Tips. Uh, you're here with TJ. You can find all the tools I use uh, today online at ccspecialtytools.com. What we're going to go over is techniques with a right angle porting tool. Now, um, I, I keep hearing about people tearing up these heads and having issues with these uh, right angles chipping and chattering. Uh, one, these aren't grinders. These are precision instruments for cutting and doing professional grade porting work. So you shouldn't be using these like a grinder. And the other thing is I realize a lot of people, uh, they're not familiar with writings because they haven't used them before. And that's okay. I would rather you ask questions and find out than, uh, than the guy that, that, that's out there and already thinks he knows everything. So let me go over some techniques with right angles uh, that's going to help you out here. Now, what I see people do a lot, and you'll see me working on this auxiliary boost port here, uh, that's the same principle as it would be down here on the transfer, is they go in at a right angle with the right angle. Well, what you'll get is this chipping and sputtering. Let me show you. See that jump? If you're doing that, if, you're, if it's jumping like that, well, you're simply not using the right technique. You're doing it wrong. Uh, let me show you the technique. Now, uh, if, if you've been doing that, don't feel bad. Like, a lot of people make that mistake at first. But let me show you how to do it the right way. So, see this angle? See how I got the head of this tool angle? Watch how I do the sweeps here. Very gentle, very easy. Now, the reason I do that is one, I'm not trying to gouge this thing out. I'm not trying to take big chunks out of this. We're working in millimeters here, okay? We're working in tenths of millimeters here. Um, you don't have to use this thing like a carving knife. You use it. Watch, watch how I use it like a paintbrush stroke. We're going to use it on this transfer here. I'm going to raise the roof of this transfer very easily. All right. See how I did this? Like easy paintbrush strokes. I know. Don't don't laugh. It's doesn't sound very manly to use it like a paintbrush, but that's what you need to do. You need to have this angle. You need to, now listen to my RPMs. This is, that's all the way up. I, that's, not the, uh, that's not the RPM range I'm, I'm working in. Take your time. Do this correctly. Make precision cuts. Just like this. Now I can do this all day. Now, while I'm working on this, I'm going to do the same thing. Nice, smooth, precision cuts. See how easy that is if you use the right angle and the right technique? So much better. Now, what happens when you get over to this? Like I say I want to work this uh, transfer port and this transfer port to angle more towards the intake side, which is sometimes an ideal situation because uh, you want that, uh, uh, that column of air to be towards the uh, intake side instead of maybe straight across the piston. So how do I do that if I'm up here? Because look, when you get in this angle, see that little jumping? Man, what do I do? Well, it's simple. Use a left hand burr. This is a 1MC with a left hand in it, but uh, you can actually use it with, you can use a 1M, um, left hand burr with a uh, 1A2. Very easy. Uh, all you have to do is get you an SRMC motor and the SRMC motor has reverse. Well, you just put your little left hand burr in there, put it in reverse, and voila, you're ready to go. The 1MC, uh, you don't even have to have an SR. You can actually just put the, uh, see the burr is actually, normally it'd be out this way. The burr is actually in here backwards, and I put the shank up to this, so will call it, tighten it down, and now I'm ready to go. Now let's show you how that works on the, uh, what's that, what this is called is the contra angle. So, we're up here on the contra angle, and we're going to work that port this way, towards the intake side. Well, because the left hand cut bar is pulling towards, is cutting towards this side, it pushes towards it, it makes it nice and smooth, whereas the right hand is good for moving towards this side. So, it's just deciding which one you want to use. Now, sometimes, like this, I see a little, little raised place here that I can work back. Yeah, it's a little bit handier with the left hand, but anyway, you get the idea. Here we 
can start to move a lot of milk, and be careful, because again, most of the time you're going to have this marked up with dye cam or some other kind of marking fluid so you can tell what you're doing. I'm just demonstrating this here, so don't start, don't send me a message on here, oh, you don't have this marked up dye cam. Yeah, I know, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to show you technique. So, like I said, left hand for doing the contra angles, right hand for doing this, uh, this uh, other, the other angle. Uh, nice, smooth, paintbrush-like techniques. Man, I'll work for you every time. I know because we've been doing this for 45 plus years and with uh, millions of dollars of tools and thousands and thousands of uh, happy customers, uh, these right angles work, man. They're the way to go. Um, and of course, if you ever have any questions or discussions that you'd like to add, you, uh, you can leave me messages on our tips and techniques section. We have a Q&A section. We have uh, just general discussions on there. Or you can go on forum at twostrokecentral.com and have a discussion on there with me and hundreds of other uh, professionals. So, uh, like I said, everything you can find tonight, uh, you can find online at ccspecialtytools.com or reach us at 1-800-762-6995.